and welcome. I'm going to show you how I digitize this lovely snowflake embroidered clock. To start with, I'm going to switch on my hoop so I can see exactly the area that I can work with. Next step is I'm going to digitize a circle by going to digitize, opening the digitize toolbox, clicking the circle oval tool, going right in the middle here, and I'm going to start drawing. And I'm going to hit enter once and enter twice. And I've got my circle. This is going to be my tag down stitch to hold the stabilizer in its place and um, to minimize um, the push and pull effect of embroidery. And also it's going to give me the area of the clock face where I can work. Because it, this is only a tag down stitch and I'm going to actually remove it afterwards. I'm going to change the um, stitch spacing. So I'm going to double click the object now by selecting it first and then I double click it. And here I can actually change the stitch setting. So I'm going to change this to five millimeters and hit enter. So this way the stitching is much looser. Now I'm going to add the snowflake. It actually comes as a free design included with Hatch Embroidery software. So I'm going to go to my designs and I find it in the embroidery library. I'm going to double click it to open it. Then left click with the mouse and drag to draw a square around it to select the design. Then I'm going to click Ctrl C, go to the design I'm working on and then click Ctrl V to paste it. Now it's a bit too small so I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to drag this point to the right and downwards a bit until I, si I resize the design to the size I wanted to, to resize it to. Um, there's a actually a couple of other things that I want to change with this design. I don't really like this white background on it so I'm going to get rid of it. So for that I'm going to open the resequence docker and I'm going to click the white chip, color chip here, and hit delete. So now all the white objects are gone. I also want to recolor this snowflake to white, so I'm going to click this blue chip here, then I go here and I'm going to change it to white. So now all the objects have changed to white, and I like it much better like this. As you can see, the snowflake is made of, of a lot of individual objects and it's best to branch them together to avoid any jumps when you are stitching out this design. I'll open the resequence docker so you can see better what I'm doing. I'm going to branching all these objects, individual objects together, but I'm not going to include this middle bit here. So I can see when I go here that it's not in the top position or the last position, so I'm going to just drag it down to here. And then I'm going to scroll up to the top, select the top white object, then scroll down, hit the shift key, hold it down, and click the last one. Now I selected all these objects and now I can branch them together. I'm going to open the Edit um, Objects toolbox, and I'm going to click Branching. I will need to hit enter twice and now all these objects have been branched together and the middle object is separate so that's going to stitch after all these ones so that's good. I'm going to quickly show you how you can reverse um, branching just in case you notice something that something doesn't look right or you left an object out you can click the branched object and then need to click break apart and you can see that all these objects have been separated out again. So I'm just going to quickly show you again how you can branch, click on the top object, scroll down, hold the shift key down, click the last one to select them all, click branching and hit the enter key twice. 
The last thing I'm going to do with the snowflake before I move on to adding the numbers is to group together the two objects I've got. So I'm going to click here and then here, click right with the mouse and then click group. I can close the resequence docker and I'm going to open the lettering monogramming toolbox and select the lettering tool. Type 12 here and you see it appeared on the clock. I'm going to move it up here where it's going to be. I'm going to make it bigger, quite a lot bigger. And then I'm going to change the font type to Old English. It's a lovely font that's very festive and goes very well with Christmas designs. I'm going to hit Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to copy and paste it. And change it to 3. Again, go back to Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Change it to 6. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. It just doesn't matter which one you copy and paste. Change that to 9. So now I've got all my numbers. Now I'm going to align uh, my objects to make sure that everything is tidy. So I'm going to hit the snowflake, then I'm going to select by holding the control key, the circle, and I'm going to go here, up here, align, and I'm going to click align centers. Then I'm going to make sure that the number 12, the snowflake, and the number 6 are aligned as well. So I'm going to select 12, then with the control key, select 6, and then select the snowflake. And then I'm going to go back here, align, and I'm going to select this time, align centers vertically. Then I'm going to click 9, the number 9, the number 3, and the snowflake, and then I'm going to click align centers horizontally. So now everything is lovely and tidy. The only thing is probably just pulling this um, three out a bit. So moving the, um, with the right arrow on the keyboard, I'm just going to be pulling it out a little bit. You can use the right and left and up and down arrows on your um, software to move things around. Maybe it went a little bit too far, so I'll bring it back a bit. And it's nice and tidy. The very last thing I need to do is digitize a hole in the middle of my design so I can cut the fabric and put the clock movement through. I'm going to draw a circle first by opening the digitize toolbox and selecting circle oval. Then I'm going to select the circle and also the snowflake and I'm going to align these two objects. I measured the shaft of the clock movement that I bought and it's 9 millimeters, so I'm going to change this to 10. I also will need to ungroup the snowflake because I'm going to be working on this middle object here. I'm going to hold down the B key on my keyboard and zoom in to the middle and a little bit more so I can work better. Maybe one more. And then I'm going to select this object here. And I'm going to select digitize holes. So I'm going to go and with right mouse clicks digitize a circle exactly the shape of the circle that I drew before. So I'm going to hit enter and enter again and now I've got a hole in the middle. What I need to do there, I don't want that red circle, it was really just to guide me. So I'm going to open the resequence docker find the red circle and delete it.
and this is how the clock was digitized thank you for watching